Okay everybody, in this video we're going to do a brief introduction to graphing. Now your book has some really good examples of how graphing is used in the real world. I'm going to let your book and your instructor help you out with that. I'm just going to get straight into the math. What you see here is a two-dimensional blank graph. And there are two axes. There's a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. Most typically we'll call this axis the x-axis and the vertical axis we'll call the y-axis. Let me plop down a point onto this graph let's say right here. And along the x-axis I'm going to say each one of these boxes counts as one value. The point where the vertical axis and the horizontal axis contact each other is called the origin. If we move to the right of the origin we'll say our values go up by one for each one of these boxes. If we move to the left of the origin, our values become negative. The same is true above and below the origin. So let me plop down a random point onto our xy plane as we call it here. We typically give a point coordinates. We give the point an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And the way that we're going to write this point is by writing five comma two. The five represents the distance to the right of the origin that this point is, and the two represents the distance above the origin that the point is. In other words, 5 is the x value and 2 is the y value of this point. If you're going to give the coordinates of the point that is the origin, what would they be? Well, the x value is 0 and the y value is 0. So the origin is always going to be represented by 0, 0. Let me drop a couple more points onto this graph. I have a red one, a purple one, and a black one. Feel free to hit pause and see if you can figure out what those points are. Those are the answers right there. Just keep in mind that the x coordinate always goes first and the y coordinate always goes second. You'll notice that an x and a y axis split up this plane into four quadrants. We number these quadrants. This is quadrant one. Over here is quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And this is one of those cases where you actually get to use Roman numerals, so enjoy it. Now that we've learned how to plot points on a graph, let's talk about how we can graph an equation now we're going to learn several ways to graph equations just like this, but let's start off with just doing the very basics. Let's come up with a list of x and y values that satisfy this equation. For example, if x is 2, what value of y would make x plus y equal to 5? Well, hopefully you say 3. As long as x plus y add up to 5, these x and y values satisfy the equation. So what other x and y values add up to 5? Uh, 1 and 4, 3 and 2, 4 and 1, 0 and 5, 5 and 0, even negative 1 and 6, if you're looking to get a little bit tricky. So we've come up with a list of x and y values that satisfy this equation here. Well, as it turns out, each one of these represents a point. If x is 2 and y is 3, we get the point 2, 3. And that point can be represented on our graph over here as 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Is that point right there. Let's do the same thing for each one of these pairs. The pair 1, 4 can be graphed right here. The pair 3, 2 can be graphed right here. The ordered pair 4, 1 is right here on the graph. The ordered pair 0, 5 is right here. The ordered pair 5, 0. And the ordered pair negative 1, 6. Now you're probably noticing a pattern here. All of the points that satisfy this equation happen to fall along a straight line. And in fact, any point along the straight line will satisfy this equation. Keep in mind that we didn't have to use whole numbers here. We could have used the point 2.5, 2.5. That would actually appear right here between two of the points that we already graphed. So any point along this line satisfies the equation x plus y equals 5. So what we say is that this line here is the graph of the equation x plus y equals 5. Okay, that was really fun. Let's see if you can do it. I would like you to plot these four points right here on an xy plane and also graph the line. Come up with several points that satisfy this equation here and then connect them with the line. Okay, good luck. I'll see you in the next video.